Good morning YouTube, it is WackMed19 and we're getting ready to do a review of Payday 2. So I've had Payday 2 for about a week now, just under a week, and I've got a lot of things to talk about as far as a review goes. The gameplay, you're going to see a couple of them. Uh, this is a gold robbery from a bank, and there are others that we may see after, depending on how long it is that I talk, because I have quite a bit planned out. So the first thing is, in a review, you want to know what the game is like. Uh, this game is great. It's a ton of fun, and it's really, really pleasurable to play. And I'm going to talk about some of those great things afterwards. Um, the graphics, to start with, the graphics are pretty good. It's, it's block style. It's not, you know, the most effort hasn't gone into making i don't understand why this guy won't be still i told him to get down he's a civilian he should have obeyed uh especially with the class that i went up but the graphics are pretty good uh i don't know how you get them wrong they're not extra special or anything but they're they're good enough to feel realistic and uh they're pretty, pretty good they're, you can't complain too terribly about them the colors are good there's a really good mix of colors look at the walls they're you know that's a color you would expect to see inside a bank look at the wood it's got the right pop the right uh contrast against the color <clears throat> the trim work being white the manila boxes you know there's, there's really good color in this it does get a little dark at times i've got a heck of a lot of um extra brighteners in my film just to make it a little a little bit easier to see and it is some, a, a setting you can adjust but it just doesn't work out as well it's a little bit dark um, the lighting and the way the lighting works is but that was actually pretty good for it to be on cue the way the lighting works is not the best in the world maybe next gen console will will help that but see like I come to the window it's obviously darker inside based on what you see on the floor but there's no interaction between me and the light and the lighting is something that shows a mark of skill and and that extra level there's not really any point in me putting that jammer down I just do it for fun uh, the render rate of the cops is not that good it, there is not the uh, the AI of the cops, where the cops are in their hitboxes, this is, it's pretty bad actually. A lot of times you don't get hit markers when you're aiming at the cops. You can't tell what your connection is to the host. So having, having not knowing those things makes it much more frustrating. Get down all the way across the map. It makes it much more frustrating and sometimes the cops just skip around the map. Sometimes they skip down the street on the sidewalk whenever there's too much going on. Uh, it's kind of like frame rate drop, but it's just the cops, so that would be a render rate if I'm getting my terms correctly. The cops aren't being rendered by the computer at the right spot, so they skip and jump across. Uh, you don't get hit markers sometimes. It's so bad that you don't get hit markers. And a side note, on the hit markers, there's no hepatic feedback to let you know that you, you got a hit. There's just the X that you see in the middle of your screen. But there's no audio feedback, and there's no hepatic feedback, and you say, may say that's just a Call of Duty thing. Maybe so, but that's a good thing to do. It, it gives you, you know, visual, uh, textural, or tactile, and and audio, audio, and those are good things. I like I, I like to know and feel certain that I got those those hits on target, and you don't know that. A lot of times you don't because you don't feel like you're actually controlling that gun well. It just it misses that feel. The AI. Well, the single single player, from what I understand, the single player is broken. They, uh, from I, I haven't seen this. I can't confirm it or corroborate it, but I have heard reports that they have admitted, the, the developers have admitted that single player is broken. The AI does not interact. Uh, basically, all it does... Uh, the AI characters, all they do is run around and help you get up off the ground if you go down. And that's beneficial. It really is. They stay alive really well. See, look, I just can't get hits on them. They stay alive really well, but they, they other than picking you up off the ground, which is a, a huge, great thing, they're not that they're not that useful at all, like fixing drills and, and getting other stuff done. It just... They don't help. They don't help like a real teammate does. So you really have to play with other people. Um, going down, you go down a lot in this game. Um, especially if you're a lower level. 
the get the difficulty for this game is super high and that the strategy takes forever oh look here i go down the strategy takes forever to get going which it should that's fine but once you are not once your strategy fails you're just in a, in a bunch of a gunfight and you know the thing is about realism if you're robbing a jewelry store why would they waste why would you waste my my guy uh, why would the police force waste so many cops so many good hard-working cops on one jewelry store there's no benefit there maybe it's because of the people that are inside it I, I don't know like there's another mission where you defend a cartel or you steal from a cartel and the police fight against you trying what are they trying to help the cartel or whatever so some of this stuff doesn't make that much sense but it's still laid out pretty good um, the strategy does feel like it takes forever you, if you fail it, the one of the side points about failing strategy is that if you do fail the strategy, you got to go through like a 10 minute scenario to get back to where you can restart your strategy. And and we're going to talk about how I think that can be fixed in in a minute. Power leveling. You cannot power level in this game. If you go in with people that are higher ranked than you, then at the end of the game, if you're successful, it'll say deduction for not being good enough to play on this level or we carried you the whole way so no you don't get to get those levels what it basically says is that um if you're not up to the rank of the of the match that you're playing then they reduce your points at the end of the game so that you still had to fight that hard but you don't get all the payout for that so that you can't jump super high in levels get in you know as a level one or two with with three level 99s and and just move your way way up in the ranks you can't do that they they have fixed that and i think that is a really good system because it means you can play with your friends and there's no penalty for playing with your friends you can see just how hard it is but you you can't uh just jump way ahead and i think that's a good i think that is done very very well uh, one thing I will say though is until you get a level 12 you are completely worthless until you unlock some body armor it you're pretty much just a, a sergeant meat shield um, there are some things that don't make any sense whatsoever in this game and the first one and the most important is that most of your money goes into an offshore account and that's what it's called maybe it's for laundering maybe it's for an orphanage maybe it's for uh, frozen pizzas later back at the club but it doesn't tell you you have no idea it's just an offshore account and you don't know where that money went it doesn't tell you if it went to anyone else maybe they'll fix that in a patch maybe they'll tell you what it's for I hope it's not for prestige because that's just stupid um, in, in my opinion, but that's just really, really dumb. These shield guys are so difficult. You really have to flank them. So if you're playing with AI, you're, you're pretty much done when shield guys come around. Uh, how to fix the problem of strategy? Uh, it is easily done with a restart button by the host. A big ol' uh right there, sorry. A restart button by the host. He has the ability to kick people in-game. And if he had a restart button, like... We go into the bank, we're like three or four minutes into our strategy, we're working really hard, and all of a sudden, a, a civilian comes around the corner out on the street, and, and we get busted. Why do we have to go through this whole assault if we just want to restart? You have to go lay out in the middle of the street, wait for all the cops to shoot you that way. The, okay, then you can restart, but you can't really just restart the game and say this is uh, the, we're only going to do this silent if we get caught. Then, then put us back at the beginning and let us do it again. If it had a restart button, that would make lots of smiley faces for lots of people. I'm serious. I've, I've played with a bunch of people. It would make everyone happy if there was a restart button. For it, make it just for the host. The, he's got some pretty awesome host privileges, like kicking people and and whatnot. How to determine who comes into the lobby and who doesn't. But he needs the ability to kick or to uh, to restart the mission. Uh, along with that, I'll go into that. The host it has the ability to kick people. That's fine. Uh, and what sucks is that if the host quits out in the mission, it's over and done. I was on a three-day mission. Host quit right, out. Thanks. That was terrible. It was really, really bad because three days. We, we successfully completed the mission. We were all standing like right here at the van like we are now. 
Except the host, he was on the other side and he quit out. It was literally over with. We had won. All we had to do was was he either needed to die over on the other side of the street or he needed to come to where we were. But he quit out, so we lost the entire three days. That was terrible. Uh, you have the ability as the host to only let in certain level or reputation of, of players. So if you only want to play with level 20s and above, then you can do that. If you only want to play with level 40s and above, you can do that. That is huge because that keeps the noobs out if you don't want to play with noobs. Um, poor noobs. Some really cool things. You just saw a card flip, I think. I uh, don't know where this game got cut. The card flip at the end of the mission when you are successful is what tells you whether or not you get a new mask or a new weapon or new colors for your mask or new designs. That That's a really cool way to implement that because it's completely random. You can't do anything about it. Now, Monkey had a problem where he was getting Electric Center, which is a design. I think he got that like six times in eight games or something. It's pretty crazy. So the randomized, maybe the engine needs a little tweaking. I, maybe they've done that. I don't know in a hot fix. But uh, I, don't, I don't know that a hot fix has come out yet. Uh, irregardless or regardless... The, uh, the card flip, I think, is a good way to do it. It's pretty random. You can't work specifically towards something, so it takes away a little bit of grindage. Um, I like the slow-mo here. It slows you down, and then you can bust a cop in the back. You do it in front of him, and it cuffs you. Heartbeat. It's crazy. Um, anyway, the card flip is a good way to give out stuff in this game so that you can, you can keep people kind of randomized and... It's a it's a plus in my opinion. Maybe maybe you think differently. It's also separate and apart from your skill tree, and and so it means very little to that. The hardest part is waiting on a silencer to come out. Uh, the game still crashes. There are still crashes in this game, and that's terrible. I wish they'd get it fixed. This is not a AAA title. You can tell. All in all, it's a fun game to play. But you can tell that the most effort, the the best computer geniuses did not spend the most time. And I don't want to insult any of them up there. They made an insanely fun game. But there there could have been more put into this game. And I'm hoping that on the, the, I'm going to enjoy this game. I really will. I haven't even experienced everything that I can yet. But... I have police that glitch up the wall and up into the sky. They get stuck in the wall. They, they climb invisible ladders. This game is not complete and it's not perfect, but it is great. And I'm seriously looking forward to enjoying this game and even more so in the future with maybe Payday 3. I don't know. Tell me what you think of the game. Thanks. Have a great day.